Welcome! This tutorial will introduce you to the IDW interpolation method in ArcMap. To begin with, open ArcMap document surface analysis and display layer height observations. We will use this dataset containing point elevation data to create a continuous data elevation model for the extent of the LU raster layer. First go to environmental settings and geoprocessing on the menu bar. Click on processing extent and select same as layer LU raster. Also, click on Raster Analysis and set a mask from LU Raster as well. When you are done, click OK. Now the extent of the continuous stem will match LU Raster exactly. Open Arc Toolbox, click Spatial Analysis Tools, then Interpolation and the IDW tool. Choose the input point features that contain the values to be interpolated. Choose a Z value field. This is the field that contains the values that are going to be interpolated. We are using heights. Choose the name and location of the output raster, then specify the parameters. For inverse distance weighted interpolation, we define the output cell size and whether the interpolation is calculated from a variable or fixed search radius. If you choose variable, enter the number of input points and or the maximum distance. If you choose fixed, enter the distance to the search points and or the minimum number of points. When you're done, click OK. Let's look at the values in the Height Observation Dataset Attribute Table. They range from 2 up to 43.3. Then take a look in the layer properties of the DEM. In the Source tab we can find the maximum and minimum values for the dataset. These are between the height observation data minimum and maximum. Inverse distance weighted interpolation only produces values within the range of the input values.